Good morning, I'm Misty and welcome back to Gardening with Green. Today I am going to be planting three types of corn. But first, I have some old potting soil that I used last year in my garden and I am going to be amending it. The first thing you would need to do is empty out any weeds that you have in your old pots. Make sure you get rid of any root systems that are in there so you're able to add your nutrients and replenish your soil. So for the most part, I have done it already loosened up the dirt pretty good in my pot there's a couple more weeds in this one right here but I'm mainly gonna be working from this one and I am going to be filling these first three sections with dirt and I am going to be planting my sweet corn here the first thing you want to do after you take all the root balls out and make sure there's not any weeds or anything in your soil you would need to add some nutrients. This right here is organic blood meal by Burpee, and it's the source of nitrogen. It'll add a little more life to your soil so that your plants will thrive and you'll have a healthy root system to produce fruit, vegetables, or whatever it is that you're growing. So I'm going to add like a handful of it to my potting soil. say two hands I'm also going to be adding some bone meal and this is the source of phosphorus and calcium you don't have to get organic fertilizer it was on sale so I end up buying it I buy anything that's on sale that has to do with gardening honestly or anything that's on sale period but you can get any type of fertilizer you just want to make sure that you um give new life to your old soil so that your plants will thrive and I also have some organic garden lime this also adds calcium and it's a good source of nutrients and it raises your soil's pH balance I'm going to add two handfuls of that in there I also have some peat moss. Peat moss is very good for retaining moisture and it also helps um, keep the nutrients in your soil. Sometimes when you water your plants, your nutrients get flushed out. So this is a good source that you can add to your um, amended soil to help uh, ration the water to your roots and also to keep the nutrients in your pot. So I'm gonna be adding this as well. I live on a very noisy street, so if you hear horns, a lot of cars, you hear the airplane, please excuse the noise. I'm gonna try to get to this as quickly as possible. As soon as I figure out how to open it without making a mess. Miracle Grow potting soil, or you can use it as garden soil. To me, soil is soil. As long as you put the right nutrients in it, it's gonna grow whatever it is you need that uh, you need it to grow. So, couldn't find any compost, which is normally what you would use to amend soil as well. But I'm just gonna add this um, Miracle Grow. Mix 
such a pretty day out here. It's kind of muggy though. It rained earlier and then the sun came out. So, but it feels pretty good out here. It's supposed to rain a little later, so hopefully it don't catch up with me. And I'm stuck out here doing this in the rain, so I'm gonna try to do this quickly. Fertilizers. The organic fertilizer fertilizes the blood meal and the bone meal that I put in here. It'll release nutrients for like two to three months. But as the plants grow, I'm going to add my own fertilizer, maybe some fish fertilizer. Most likely, that's what I'm going to use. And uh, that'll keep the nutrients in the pot because you want to always make sure that you got a lot of nutrients in there because, like I said, the nutrients will drain out when you water. Drink of water, excuse me. I have mixed that pretty well, so what I'm gonna do is I have this um, container that my mother made for my daughter. It was initially for her shoes, but she's not using it at the moment, and I don't want to get rid of it because I cherish it. My mother made it. So what I'm going to do is use it to plant my corn. But first they have these little openings in there and I'm going to put some of this weed barrier in here to keep the soil in there so it won't run out. I hope everybody is having a good day. It's about to get real muggy out here. First of all, I'm going to start from over here. <laughs> but it's so muggy out here today, but it's beautiful. The sun is shining, so I don't have no complaints, really. I'm just lining this, um, with the weed barrier. And I'm just gonna cut it. This is just to keep the soil inside the container for the roots of my corn. Okay, I got that first one done. So I'm going to fill it with the dirt. Drop down in the comments and let me know what you're planting in your garden this spring and summer. It's always good to try to plant something, even if it's something small. Just start small and get big as you go. dirt in there, but we'll see. Again, I'm just lining this um, with weed barrier. So 
I won't lose my soil when it's watered, when I water it or when it rains. And I also keep the weeds out. Which corn can grow around weeds, but I would prefer not to have any. container right here. I'm going to do the same thing to it. I've already emptied out the weed and everything, so it's ready to go. Water line. Once you amend your soil with heat moss, it does good with breaking down gradually so you won't have to add it to your soil for like a, a year. Only you can add it once a year and it'll be fine. Got some more roots that I didn't see before. You definitely want to make sure you get all the roots out of there. hotter and hotter out here. Okay, we're going to do the third one. And I'm definitely going to top this off with more um, soil because I can already tell that it's going to need a little more for the corn. Surely shining down on me. I'm thankful. Do a little tuck. See if I can lift this bad boy up. I don't mess up my weed berry when I go to pour this in here, but we can find out. Come 
might be at the bottom. We're good with the soil. Thought I was going to need a little more, but I think that's good. Okay, now, when I get done sweating, we are going to be planting three types of corn. I have early bantam sweet corn, two for a dollar. At Dollar General, you can't beat it. Indian red corn and glass gem corn. I have three sections and I'm going to plant the red Indian corn, the glass gem, and then the bantam sweet corn in this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna try to get, I thought I was gonna be able to get like nine in here probably only gonna be able to get eight I'll take eight so I'm gonna put on my little handy dandy gardening gloves even though I don't mind getting a little dirty and I am going to start planting my corn yay corn my family love corn I do too and I cannot wait to see how this red Indian corn tastes. I've never tasted red Indian corn or glass gem corn. I've only eaten yellow corn, yellow sweet corn. So it's gonna be something different, but I always like to try new, th new things, especially when growing, because hey, gardening is trial and error. It teaches you patience, and it also teaches you self-sustainability, sustainability. So you're able to feed your family and you know what you're feeding them when you grow it yourself. So. I said this is the Indian red corn. Look at those kernels, aren't they pretty? Beautiful kernels. Okay, I said I'm gonna try to get, I said I wanted to get nine in here, but I'm not gonna be able to, so eight it is. I'm gonna take my finger, I'm gonna go about a quarter inch to a half an inch down into the soil and I'm gonna plant my seeds. You could see them through the, you could have seen them good through the pack. So I'm gonna give it to you one more time, so you can see how pretty they are. And I'm just gonna drop the kernels in here, cover the hole up. Drop the seed in, cover the hole up. Nothing to it. eight of the Indian red sweet corn planted. Now I'm doing the glass gym. This 
this last gem kind of reminds me of ornamental corn. It looks like it got some light blues and different colors in here. Looks pretty. I hope it tastes good. But with corn, you can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with corn. I'm going to plant my favorite early bantam sweet corn. The sweetest, juiciest, milkiest kernels you will ever taste in some corn. I love it. One thing I can say, all this sweating I'm doing, I'm going to lose about 10 pounds while I'm out here because, I mean, it's just running off. But that's all right. These are the early Bantam sweet corn kernels. I'm going to be planting. And we just drop them in. Drop it and cover it up. Drop it and cover it up. Okay, now that we have our seeds planted, we are going to water them in. Real, real good. It's hot out here. Clover, what you doing in my soil? Get out of there. You gotta excuse me. Sometimes I talk to the plants. If you love gardening, I think we all do. <laughs> Even if you don't love gardening, if you love plants or just nature, period, I'm pretty sure you talk to them. Okay, we have amended our soil. Let me give you a brief reminder of what I use. I use peat moss, which holds the moisture in the soil, and it also retains the nutrients when you water and when it rains so it doesn't flush it out the container. I have blood meal, bone meal, and I also added a new container, I mean a new bag of miracle Grow gardening soil to it, and I just mixed it all up with my old potting soil and gave it new life. I just planted my Indian red corn, my um, early bantam sweet corn, and my golden gem corn. I will give you guys another video when I see some germination happening in my little container, and I'll get back with you guys next time. Thank you for coming back to Gardening with Green, and have a good day.